What's up guys? Welcome to Minecraft Spice Sabrina. Today I'm going to share how to use the bend path effect in Inkscape 1.0 to take a linear path and create multiple bend points to give it a customized curve. So here's what we're going to cover. In order to do this, the object that you're going to apply a bend effect to needs to be a path. So we'll go over how to convert a text to a path I'm also going to do this as a group so you can see that you can do this with multiple layers. So we'll create a path outset with that text and then we'll go ahead and create the bend path effect for that group. So if you already know how to convert text to path and you already know how to create an outset, you can go into the description below and just forward to the bend path effect section. So first things first, you want to select the text icon box, drag and drop, create a text box, and then type out your word. I'm going to type congratulations. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see if you select on your object, it'll give you the status. This tells me that it's a text in a shape. So it doesn't mean anything right now. Remember, we need it to be a path. So we're going to go into the path menu, select object to path. And now at the bottom, you can see it's a group of 16 objects we need to weld this image together so that it's one group instead of 16 individual letters. First, we need to ungroup that by doing object ungroup. And now at the bottom, you can see it's 16 objects, each one individually selected. So it's no longer a group, it's ungrouped. And we're going to weld that together by going to path and selecting union. So now we have one individual layer, one path of 516 notes. Our, our text is now ready and it's converted to path. So because I'm using the outset feature, I need to duplicate the object I have selected because outset actually boldens the object versus creating a separate outset. So I'm gonna duplicate it. And once it's duplicated, we'll go to the path menu and select outset. This gives my bolded look. I'm gonna change the color so that I can identify it. And because I'm going to do two outsets, I'm going to duplicate the outset I just created. Again, I'll change the color so that I can see it. And then I'm going to apply the outset to that one. Now that I have both outsets completed, I'm going to lower the original black outset all the way to the bottom. And then I'll lower the gray outset to the middle layer. All three layers are now complete. Getting down to business, because we have three layers that we want to add the bend path effect to, we want to do it simultaneously. So I'm going to select all three objects, go to object and group. Now I'm going to open the path and path effects menu on the lower right hand screen. Select the add and then I'm going to select the bend path effect. In the path effects menu at the right, I'm going to select bend path and this is going to create your bend path nodes. From here, I'm going to grab and drag the path line. Every time you grab and drag, it's going to then start to give it some curvature. If you wanna bend it at a different point, you can double click on the bend line and then add a new node giving you new directional points. And you see in the background how the red highlight continues to pop up of the word. That's what the original path looks like. Remember, this is an effect, so it's only giving an illusion that our linear text is actually curved. So after we set this to the curvature that we want, we need to convert that curved bend path effect into an actual object. So from here, we're going to go path an object to path, and now it's completely ready. Our nodes are ready to go, we can continue. If you already have your project design and you know what size you want this image to be, then go ahead and size it appropriately and then we'll set the page size. If you don't have a size in mind, then you wanna make this relatively small, say under 11 inches, and then go ahead and size in design space because you don't want it to be way large and then bogged down design space. So I'm going to select all and then go to the edit menu and resize page to selection. So that's going to change my page size to be only the size needed to fit around my actual selection. Now I'm going to go to the file and save as. 
When you save this, you can either save it as Inkscape SVG or plain SVG. They both will work just fine. So let's go ahead and open Design Space and start a new project. I'm going to go to the Upload on the left and Upload in the middle. And then you can either drag and drop or search for your file. I've searched for my file and I'm going to select Open. And because it's an SVG, no cleaning up is necessary. You're just going to name it, tag it, and select Upload. From my up, recent uploads, I'll click it and select Insert Image. And now I've uploaded into Design Space, and you can see I have three separate layers. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if this was helpful to you, don't forget to share it with a crafter friend.